Hello and welcome to another in our technical preview series of CDO model repository integration in the Kepler release of the Eclipse Papyrus project. Today we'll be looking at model validation. And in fact, let's start by recapping model validation in resources in the workspace. So let's open a model and let's validate it. Validate the whole model. And we see the problems view has woken up and is showing some some errors. That looks good. I don't know what this one's about. What's the context of this problem? Navigate over to Model Explorer to show us the element that is in error. And we see also, of course, annotations with little tooltips on the diagrams. So that's all good. Now let's uh, let's just get rid of these errors to keep things tidy. <clears throat> good. So let's see how it works on models in the repository. So let's open one up. And let's validate this model. Again, we'll validate the whole model. Looks like we generated some error markers. Uh, you know, here's uh, the decorations showing problems and decorations in the Explorer, but there's no problems shown. Oh, right, of course. The problems view shows markers on resources in the Eclipse workspace, but of course, our repository models aren't stored in the work workspace, they're in a CDO repository. So we need uh, some different presentation of those. So let's open the model validation view. <clears throat> so this is a new view introduced uh, specifically to support the validation of CDO repository models. But as we can see, it does offer a few advantages being uh, tailored to the model validation use case. In particular, instead of showing the location of problems by resource, because the model validation view, like the model explorer view, tracks always the currently active model editor, it can show instead a more model-oriented display of what is the model that or the element that has a problem, and what is the, in the UML case, the namespace of that problem. And as in the problems view, we can reveal the, the element that has a problem. You know, we can uh, select any number of uh, problems to delete them or copy a nice uh, tab delimited text table to the clipboard, that sort of thing. Also, of course, we can uh, validate or revalidate just some portion of the model. So this, the problem with this uh, class here is that it's trying to specialize a classifier of an incompatible meta class. So why don't I fix that problem? I wanted Instead of uh, instead of a generalization, I actually wanted an association there. That's good. So let's then revalidate just that subtree of the model, and voila, our problem is fixed. Good stuff. Now, of course, although this new model validation view was introduced specifically to support validation of repository models. It works perfectly fine with models in the workspace. So let's have another look at this model over here. And we had already deleted the problem markers from it before, so let's validate it again. And we see once again all those lovely errors that are presented also in the problems view. So there you have it a short demonstration of model validation in Papyrus repository models. Thanks for your attention.